And welcome back. We want to take a moment to remember a legend of faith in television that we lost on Easter Sunday. Mother Angelica Live, brought to you from the Eternal Word Television Studios in Birmingham, Alabama. If you ever saw the show, that was the open. Mother Mary Angelica started the Eternal Word Television Network from a garage in Alabama. It grew into one of the largest religious media networks on the planet. And she is the only woman in the history of television to found and lead a TV network for 20 years. She also received the highest honor anyone can get from the Vatican, the Pro Ecclesia at Pontifice Medal. It's a big deal for Catholics like me, but for non-Catholics in the TV industry, another lesson. She always kept it real, something that's hard for us anchor people to do. Here's one example. It is what comes out of a man that makes him unclean. It is, he said, for it is from within, it's from men's hearts that evil intentions emerge. Now, you know what? I got the wrong page. <laughs> There you go. Mother Angelica teaching a lesson on excuses and appropriately, uh, appropriately enough, she just admitted that she messed up. That was one thing you grew to love about her if you ever saw her on TV. Back with us again, Father Thomas Petrie, the Vice President and Academic Dean at the Dominican House of Studies in Washington, D.C. Father Petrie, Mother Angelica has an impressive career breaking through in the male-dominated church and TV business. What is your fondest memory of her? Well, what a great clip you just showed of her. She was an amazing woman. She was always preaching the truth on her television network. With only $200, she founded EWTN. With only $200 to her name. She was a cloistered nun, in fact, and it was out of the cloister by writing letters and pamphlets that she raised the money and benefactors and supporters to, as you said, found one of the largest world media religious television networks ever. Uh, she's an, she was an amazing woman, and I think uh, we'll always be grateful that we lived during a time when EWTN was founded and when she was alive. And that she died on Easter Sunday is certainly a sign of God's blessing. Yeah, she was also driven to retirement, basically. She suffered a stroke, I read, on Christmas Eve. So it just goes to show you the irony, uh, the cruel irony sometimes that these things happen, but also raises awareness. And the good news is, Father, she has a million clips on YouTube, lots of her lessons out there to live on. So great to honor her and her memory by having you with us today. Always great to see you, sir. God bless you. Take care.